Uh, basically, there are two things I've been doing you know, for the last uh, 20 years. One is teaching. I've been teaching at the Central Department of English at TU for more than 20 years. So as a teacher, uh, but also as a writer. It's my home basically. You know, like uh, I grew up in this uh, village in Japa. I first came to Kathmandu uh, when I was doing my ISC a uh, long time back. But you know, now I have lived in this uh, city for such a long time. My friends are all from here. I met my wife here in this city. So it basically, so whenever I think of Kathmandu, I think of it as my home. And uh, despite the problems we are having, you know, we all know like there are water problem, other kind of problem. But despite all that. I think this this is still the best city for me in the world. It's very difficult to pinpoint on one, but uh, when I was writing my novel Ganchakar, Ganchakar is all about city spaces in Kathmandu. So in order to do research, you know, I was uh, moving around the Kathmandu, going to the Are Ghat, you know, river banks, meeting all kinds of people. So I saw different uh, parts of the sides of the city at that at that time. So my fondest memory was, was uh, the, when I was doing research for Ganchakar and uh, moving around the city, going to the historical places as well as, you know, like very suburban places where very poor people live. So the entire the collective experience, I think that was, that was uh, really uh, interesting memory. Uh, my home and uh, also at uh, Tribune University at Kirtipur when I'm teaching there or at, uh, I often go to, uh, Gurukul is not functioning these days, but Gurukul was another place because I am interested in theatre and Siddhartha Art Gallery would be another place because I am interested in their art shows and I go there quite often. It's difficult to say, you know, because of uh, uh, politics obviously, you know, because in, in Nepal as in, uh, as different from other countries, our daily life, the fabric of our daily life is so much affected by politics that it's very difficult to get out of that. But I would also like to look at, you know, art scene and the theater scene of Nepal. I don't know, these things, you know, basically you know, it's very difficult to separate these domains. Art, politics, theater, you know, our history, they all are part of the same fabric which we call the city experience. So I'll, be, I'll try to deal with the entire city experience, the entire fabric of it. And I don't know where it will lead me. You know, I, in Ghansakar, I looked at a lot of historical spaces like uh, Narayan Hiti Darbar and Basantapur Darbar Square, those places were important for me. So I might do a bit more of that, look at the historical spaces, but also look at, you know, like art and theater, maybe even food, because that's all part of the, you know, experience which we call city. So I think I'll, I'll try to look at, you know, these various domains of the city. I would tell him to go outside the uh, tourist brochures, because the brochures, you know, they give you certain ideas to which places to visit, Swambu, Darbar Square, go to Tamil, do shop and all that. Maybe you should try or he should or she should try to go out of that and, you know, just take a, uh, you know, journey of his own. Go and meet, you know, some common people living near, near you know, uh, Bhagmati and Vishnumati and get their perspective also. So, just don't live in these fancy hotels, but try to meet the people. Maybe I would be in this, um, um, uh, the farm of my grandfather where I grew up in, in Japa. There, you know, like we used to have a lot of goats and, you know, like <laughs> forests and all that. So, ponds also in that state. And uh, at one point, you know, I would thought that I would just stay in the village and look after the goats of my grandfather, which did not happen. <laughs> but yeah, I have fond memory, memories of that place. Maybe that's where I would be there, you know, right now, looking after the goats. Be clear about where you are going, that's my dad told me, and work hard to achieve that goal. Clarity about your destination and then working hard to reach that destination, two things. I would like to remember, I remembered as a kind of a simple person uh, who tried to give his best in whatever he did. Yeah.